uh, thank you, house chairperson, house chair. We need to ask ourselves difficult questions in this era. What is the meaning of democracy to a country like South Africa, lauded for its model constitution yet still trapped in the colonial division of labor as supplier of commodities to colonizer nations? What is the meaning of democracy house share to the ordinary South African sidelines to the margins of the economy, only fit to play a subservient role in relations to white people who own and control the means of production. House chair, I know for a fact that as the EFF, we speak for most South Africans when we say that we have lost faith in government's ability to lead this country in such a way that ordinary South African can meaningfully gain from the fruits of a democratic dispensation. House Chairperson, 26 years of democracy have failed to bring about significant change to the lives of the people of South Africa. Honorable Minister, it is not 24 years, it is full 26 years that our people are suffering under your government. Instead, we are, no, we are more divided than before. And the fake hate of the Rainbow Nation has all but dissipated with the territorial reigns that have been uh, ruled for ANC for almost three decades. Even the new dawn itself, House Chairperson, small screen meant to restore hope for our people, have failed to hide the deep-rooted structural socio-economic and racial inequalities among South Africans. Ordinary South African citizens have lost hope in the ability of democracy to respond to the social and economic needs of our people. House Chairperson, against a backdrop of decades of inequality and neglect, where we are now in stark contrast to where we thought we would be, and it seems that with each passing year, we descend deeper and deeper into an abyss of hopelessness, delusionness, and frustration marked by service delivery protests, violent crimes, and corruption. This is evident by the declining participation in voting with every passing local and national elections. How share of those South Africans eligible to, to vote, about 49% voted in 2019 elections. It is no secret that low voter turnout weakens democracy and growing delusionness has a big role to play. Our people are led by government that is so far removed from their daily life experience that they fail to deliver on their constitutional mandate to provide a better life for South Africans like they promised them. Dignity is a foreign concept in relation to the life of ordinary poor South Africans. Without access to the most basic services such as water, electricity and sanitation, House Chair South Africans has become a textbook example of a country in crisis that many have come to view election as a mere opportunity for enrichment of politicians undermining democracy. How chairperson, instead of legitimate voter education and participation, our people are reduced to selling votes for free t-shirts and food parcels. The participation of big business in this country's politics also hugely undermine the central tenets of democracy. Their ability to buy votes from the level of political parties to national elections means that those with deeper pockets can manipulate democratic process to install the leaders they want. Who will then lead? Not for the people, but for those who paid for them to be in the positions of power. House chair, the case of President Cyril Ramaphosa is a very good example of this practice. We now, we now know all that big businesses 
white people invested billions of rands to have him as a state president. His conduct since he became president shows that he owes his loyalty more to white people and big businesses than to ordinary people of this country. Through the money made available to him, he has captured all critical sectors of the nation, journalists, the criminal justice system, and even churches danced to his tune recently. But it is not him who sets the tune. It is those who paid for him, white people and big businesses. Those who invested in him now have undisturbed access to the state resources. They control all state-owned enterprises. They control the policy discourse. They are in charge of government procurement here in South Africa. Now, Chairperson, 26 years of democracy has meant very little to the men on the streets. Black people have remained a nation of the poor, unemployed, homeless, and landless. Robust social movements led by South African youth have shown that the youth of the country is interested in safeguarding and further entrenching the democratic advancement of the liberation struggle. However, Chair, the high rates of unemployment, social and economic struggles, corruption, and the widening gap between the needs of the people and the actions of our aging leaders leave much to be desired. As far as citizen participation is concerned, Chair, we need to recenter people as a primary agent of democracy. I thank you.